peace, love, and happiness. We're in a time of vengeance. We're in the time of destruction. We're in the time of hatred. We're in the time of war. We're in the time of crying. We're in the time of destruction. And you can see it all around the world. Now, we used to always say that we don't know if China is going to be involved in this war, but guess what? China is going to be involved in this war because they have uh, invested uh, money into Iran. Now, when the U.S. and I, uh, Israel go into Iran to declare war against it, Russia's going to get involved because they've got to protect their investment. China's got to get, uh, is going to get involved. And eventually, all the allied nations of the U.S., they're going to get involved in that war. And that's all in the scriptures. All right, so go ahead and read that. This is on a, a missile system that the Chinese have. I believe it's called a DF-31, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And he's just going to read the first, the, I guess, the first paragraph. All right, go ahead, brother. Okay, this is uh, entitled Penn State Online. Uh, weapons of mass destruction around the world. DF-31, the newest generation of Chinese strategic missile, including the Dong Feng-31. Yeah, that's what DF-31 yeah, DF stands for, Dong Feng. Go ahead. Will narrow the gap between current Chinese, U.S., and Russian ballistic missile designs. So you think the Chinese built that up to make a museum? The missile museum, they're gonna use they're gonna use those missiles. That's why the most I got the spirit on them to build those missiles up, just like the most I put the spirit on the Russians to build those missiles up. Go ahead. This system is a solid fueled three stage mobile missile with a range of eight thousand kilometers carrying seven hundred uh kg. Yeah, that's about that's like 5,000 miles, 5,000 plus miles? Uh, um, 700 kg, one megaton warhead. Uh, the DF-31 limited range ICBM will give China a major strike capability that will be difficult to counterattack at any stage of its operation. From pre-flight mobile operations through terminal flight uh, phases. As with the JL-1 slash DF-21 combination, the DF-31 and the JL-2 are land base and sea base variants of the same missile. Uh, the canceled DF-25 conventionally armed R R I I R B M was to have been based on the first two stages of DF-31 and DF-41. Long-range ICBM with, will use these two stages with a large uh, dia uh, di diameter uh, third stage. Uh, development of these missiles was uh, accelerated following the successful test of their uh, common 2M diameter uh, solid rocket motor in late 1983. Uh, the missile is apparently com comparable in size and performance to the American Trident C4 long range multiple warhead three stage solid fuel missile, missile that is launched from submerged submarines. Yeah, so that, like I said, that's all we need to read out of that. You can go to the next tab. Now, I'd like the reader to get me Isaiah, the 16th chapter, the first verse to the seventh verse. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 16 and verse 1. It says, Send ye the lamb to the ruler of the land from Selah to the wilderness unto the mount of the daughter of Zion. For it shall be that as a wandering bird cast out of the nest, so the daughters of Moab shall be at the fords of Arnon. Take counsel, execute judgment, make thy shadow as the night in the midst of the noonday. Hide the outcast, bewray not him that wandereth. Let mine outcast dwell with thee, Moab. Be thou a covert to them from the face of the spoiler. For Be a covert to them from the face of the spoiler. The face of the spoiler is ultimately 
Uh, it's talking about America because America um, spoiled us. All right. Read that again. It says, let mine outcast dwell with thee, Moab. Be thou a covert to them from the face of the spoiler. For the extortioner is at, the, at an end. Right. The extortioner is at an end. That's talking about Babylon and the system. Uh, the, the NATO, the EU. Uh, you, you can, if you checked out the news yesterday, I think it was yesterday or two days ago, uh, France was downgraded once again. So this, this, this system, uh, Esau's system is crumbling right before your eyes. Go ahead. For the extortioner is at an end, the spoiler ceaseth, the oppressors are consumed out of the land, and in mercy shall the throne be established. Right, the throne is Israel being set up. Go ahead. And he shall sit upon it in truth in the tabernacle of David. Right, that's the house of David coming back together. Go ahead. Judging and seeking judgment and hasting righteousness. We have heard of the pride of Moab. He is very proud. Uh, verse 6. Even of his haughtiness and his pride and his wrath, but his lies shall not be so. Yeah, because... Ultimately, even though Moab is going to do the bidding of the Moab side, they're going to be destroyed too. Because they're going to be slaves under us too. Go ahead. Verse 7. Therefore shall Moab howl for Moab. Everyone shall howl for the foundations of Kir Harseth shall ye mourn. Surely they are stricken. Yeah, so Moab is going to play a part of this in a big way. Now go from there to the book of... Uh, I believe it's either Psalms 60 verse 8 or Psalms 6 verse 8. I think it's Psalms 60 verse 8. Actually, it's in two places in Psalms. Uh, this is the book of Psalms chapter 60 verse 8. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Philistia triumphed thou because of me. Right. Moab is my washpot. So the most I'm going to use Moab... To clean up this devil. Now the mo the most I said, eat him, I will cast out my shoe. You know when you come home from a hard day at work and you take your shoes off and you just throw it? <laughs> you know, you don't throw it on the floor? Well, that's how the most high looks at uh, Esau society. Like it's nothing to him. All right? Now I said Moab is my wash pot. That means the, mo the most high going to use Moab as one of his tools of destruction. To cleanse this damn devil, man. And how are they going to be cleansed? They're going to cleanse the whole land of America. Because there's two main um, uh, cleansing agent, agents. Water, remember the flood, and fire. See, once the fire devours this land, this land's going to be clean of every damn thing. And no one's going to be able to, you know, you ain't going to have no scientists go to America and, and do a documentary on uh, uh, after America. No one's going to be able to step foot on the um, the uh, land of America. Okay? So we got that, brother, that other article. Okay, this is from RT News, entitled Standard Duty. More U.S. battleships head to Persian Gulf. Now, this is dated um, 12 January 2012. It says uh, the U.S. is deploying more warships to the Persian Gulf area with the aircraft carrier USS Carl Vinson entering the Arabian Sea. Washington is also winning over Japan and India in the oil sanction war against Iran. The Pentagon denies that the, US, the USS Carl Vinson has been dispatched to the Gulf region over the Strait of Hormuz tensions. Her deployment in that area is routine, Long planned, there's nothing unusual about that, said Pentagon spokesman John Kirby. Oh, yes, there is, because the Most High is setting your ass up to fight that war in the Middle East. Because that war is going to be fought in the Middle East. Not just the U.S., not just Germany. Whatever nation has a strong military might, mainly NATO, Russia, the EU, all these mil military uh, nations, namely ones that um, possess these uh, missiles, they're going to be right over there in the Middle East. And, they, and the Mosai is setting them up. 
so they can have this war. And none of these idiots on the news, they speak about Iran, but none of these idiots in the news are going into uh, the prophecy in Ezekiel 38 chapter because the Most High blinded them to what the truth is. Go ahead, Ock. The Carl Vincent carrying up to 80 planes and helicopters on board and backed by a cruiser destroyer has not gone the, through the straight, has not gone the straight.